Hi, I'm Gail Cronauer, and I play Louise in this film. And it's, um, it's a wonderful role. The character uh, takes an amazing journey in the film and she has a lot of wonderful scenes both with Ben who plays Thomas, um, a young homeless man, and with the ghosts of her past, uh, including her children with whom she never really speaks on screen. She leaves a lot of voicemail and text messages and the house in which she lives and the ghosts that inhabited that house. Uh, one of the uh, major themes of it is um, what happens to people who are marginalized? Who are these people? Why are they? Who are they? Why are they who they are? And what is their future? Is there anything that can be done to help them to lead more positive, peaceful, happy, successful, um, contributing lives? Louise has a line, look at these hands, there are still so many things I can do, which was um, a real heart stabbing line for me. Because at my age, I think about that a lot. There are still so many things I can do. And I'm a very active woman of a certain age. But I know that at some point, perhaps soon, maybe not so soon, um, I will experience that too. I already have people who are saying to me, oh, here, let me help you. Are you okay? <laughs> Can I get you this? It's like, please, I'm fine. So Louise is someone who is marginalized in this way, separated from family, self-separated herself from a lot of people and experiences because she's so angry. Well, I've certainly dealt with my share of anger in my life. So um, being given a chance to explore that and to understand what that might be and to maybe, if not forgive it, to make room for accepting that in myself as well as other people was a huge part of the film for me. And to simply have a role where a woman my age can interact with someone and be open to change. That's incredible. I wasn't dying, I wasn't demented, a little bit disabled, but still strong, vital, alive, contributing. And I was staying not too far from where we were shooting. And I drove down 35 onto the service road, onto a ranch to market um, highway, and just north of downtown Austin. And there was a green belt and it was peopled by homeless in tents. I mean, there was a whole city there on both sides of the road. And suddenly it became so real to me. Um, a little scary because it was like, whoa, these people are living in those tents very creatively. I mean, there's a propane can and there are all these different um, tarps and bicycles and articles of life um, in these camps. When I'd see a car by the side of the road, it wasn't just a stalled car. There was a good chance that that car was where someone was living now. So to look at that and to realize that in my city, in Austin, in Portland, laws are being passed to make it illegal for people to live in tent cities like that. Where do they go? So 
How do we serve them? How do we include them in our society? Because no one is throwaway. Mm. No one is trash. Everyone is a treasure. It's finding out how to unlock that treasure. Who is the person that is that treasure? Thank you.